Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 kinds of people that I personally hate. It's my own list, it's completely subjective to me. If you disagree with it, well, it's my list. Also, I want to say I don't really condone hating anyone, because hating takes a lot of energy, and why would you waste your time on someone that upsets you that much? Plus, again, I don't really want to upset anybody, but these are there are types of people that I don't like and don't get along with, and will do my best to actively avoid. Now, I think active avoidance is a much better solution than just staying around someone that you hate. Unless you're in a situation where, say for example, at work or at school or whatever, you just can't get away from this kind of person. Uh, if you have the opportunity to avoid someone, it's better to just not have to deal with it at all than it is to sit there having to hate somebody. So number five is the judgmental type of person. Uh, what do I mean by judgmental type of person? Like, this could mean an all-compassing thing, basically. Everybody judges to a degree, right? It's just a fact of life. Everybody is judgmental. No, no person on earth is judgmental. But I'm talking about the kind of people who immediately makes an opinion of you based on nothing but their first impression. Sometimes the first impression is a good thing to go off, but they don't let you have anything like that, and then they will treat you awfully just because of that first impression. Now, what is the point of that? I can't help but wonder what the point of judging someone and then deciding you hate them without having any knowledge of that person, their lifestyle, or what kind of person they really are. Just because you get a funny feeling in your stomach or whatever, oh, this guy might be a bit off. I mean, yes, instincts are very good at helping you keep safe, but they're not always right, and that doesn't give you any right to slander somebody just because you think someone's a bad person. Number four is the close-minded and opinionated type of person. Basically just the majority of YouTube comments. <laughs> I'm pretty sure other people have made that joke before. But it's very similar to that, as in the internet, in the world of the internet, everything is hyperbole. Everybody hyper uh, hyperbolizes everything. So they say, instead of like, I don't like this video, because you used the word sandwich wrong. They say shit like, Oh my god, I fucking hate this video! I hope you die and I hope your dog dies and I hope someone you have to watch your children get strangled to death and hate. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. You know what? You know that kind of thing. An opinionated and close-minded person is very similar in the sense that they will just decide and they will never, ever, ever give any leeway to anybody else, no matter how credible it is, no matter how easily proving it is. They will not give you any satisfaction. You know, you try and uh, discuss with these people. If they're incorrect about something, they won't admit it. If they're correct about something, and then you say, I was wrong. They don't learn from that. They just take it as a win and don't learn anything from that interaction. And then they just go on to annoy more people. So that's why I hate those kinds of people. Number three is the egocentric. Okay, I get it. We're all human beings, right? We all have an ego to feed. If we have a really low ego, we have a real low self-confidence of ourselves. I have an ego that I like to have stroked because it feels good. It feels good to have your ego stroked. It just does, okay? There are, however, people that take this way too far to obsessive levels, which just makes them a horrible experience to be around. Because all they care about is themselves. And yeah, sometimes, you know, I do this as well. Sometimes I'll interrupt somebody when I'm talking to them to say something I'm talking about. But very rarely do I do this because it's incredibly rude. And these people will often be like, you'll be in the middle of a conversation saying, yeah, yeah, uh, how was your baby? How was your baby? And then he'll button and he'll be like, well, I did this on the train tracks today. And there's no need for it. I mean, grow up. You're not that important. Number two is the sheep or the idiot, as I like to call them. No, I'm not saying, oh, my God, wake up, sheeple. I'm not talking about that kind of sheep. I suppose another good word for this would be the popular kids or something. These are the kind of people that hear stories about people and base opinions entirely on that story. They never think for themselves, they just go with what anyone else says, they never question anything, they just won't even get to know you as a human being. They won't even attempt to talk to you, they'll just look at you and be like, oh, you're the guy that uh, was hated by girls in college or what the fuck ever. Based on a true story, I was the guy that was hated by girls in college. But these people are just awful because, why? why would you let other people ruin your life? Why would you let other people run your world? Just because of their opinion, you have to automatically adhere to that. You won't even make your own opinions. It just infuriates me. Go out and talk to people. They might not be the person you think they are.
And my number one most hated person is, of course, the discriminatory. Now, these types of people are just straight up racist or just hate someone because, oh, you come from England. Oh, but we're Scottish. We hate you. Uh, that's kind of an example that isn't as true as people make it out to be. But in Wales, when I lived there, there was Welsh people who were like extremists in the sense that they hated English people for no reason other than they were English. And I could speak Welsh fully. I understand and I learned Welsh out of respect for the country that I was in and because I wanted to know what they were saying about me behind my back. And surprise, surprise, they were calling me horrible things in Welsh. And it's just awful. What's the point? It kind of goes back to the same point. You don't know these people. You've just decided they're awful because of the language they speak or because of the way they look. You haven't even thought. Your brain hasn't come into action. You haven't even tried to use your brain. You've just decided you dislike someone because. And that is absolutely pathetic. And that is the last type of person I want to be around. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and also share it with your friends or something, if you can think of someone else who might enjoy this. Uh, I really hate begging for this crap because it's really annoying, but I really want to see my channel grow. I'm really focusing on it right now, and uh, it would mean a hell of a lot to me to see everybody's opinions on this stuff. And uh, once again, I do apologize for the choppy gameplay, but my PC is still garbage. See you next time.